Novak Djokovic versus Andre Rublev is the final quarterfinal for the Men's Australian Open for 2023. And both guys have had interesting rows to get to this stage. Rublev started the tournament off as the number five seed and will take on Dominic Team the wild card in the first round. But this was no problem for Rublev, getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-4, 6-2. In the second round, he'd take on Rusevori. And after dropping the third set, Rublev would have to fight for the win, getting through in four, 6-2, 6-4, 6-7, 6-3. In the third round, he'd take on the 25 seed, Dan Evans. And again, very impressive from Rublev, getting through in straight sets, 6-4, 6-2, 6-3. In the fourth round, he'd take on the exciting youngster, Runa, the number nine seed. And after splitting the first four sets, this match went down to the wire with Rublev down 5-2 in the fifth, coming back, saving match points to prevail in five long sets, 6-3, 3-6, 6-3, 4-6, 7-6, -6, to advance to another quarterfinal. Djokovic started the tournament off as the number four seed and would take on Bayana in the first round. And this posed no problem, even though Djokovic was injured, getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-4, Four, six love. In the second round, he'd take on the qualifier Quaco, and after dropping the second set, Djokovic felt in trouble, but he steamrolled his opponent in the fourth, getting through in four, six one, six seven, six two, six love. In the third round, he'd take on the 27 seed Dimitrov, and these two had played many times before, and Djokovic had Dimitrov's number again, getting through in straights, seven six, six three, six four. In the fourth round, he'd take on the 22nd seed Demonor, the hometown favorite, and this was by far Djokovic's best performance of the tournament, demolishing Demonor in two hours, six two, 6-1-6-2 to advance to the quarterfinals. These guys have played three times before with Djokovic leading the head-to-head 2-1 -head and also 2-0 on hard courts. So if it's on a hard court, it should be Djokovic to win, especially because of what happened last year at the ATP Finals with Djokovic demolishing Rublev in their previous match. If Rublev's going to win this one, he needs to keep his cool. He was very cool against Runa, which was very exciting to see because he's usually pretty hot-headed. When the moment gets tight, he's going to have to keep his cool because there's a huge opportunity here against an injured Djokovic. If Djokovic is going to win, he needs to be more aggressive like he was against Dimitri. He was very aggressive against Dimonor compared to other matches, but he was very clean as well. And he's going to have to limit the running because we know Rublev loves the ball bash and that could make Djokovic move a lot, which means the hamstring could be compromised. So he needs to be aggressive first. This is going to be a very fun matchup and Djokovic's hardest test to date, but I'm going to go with Djokovic. I think psychologically, Rublev might fail a little bit, especially because he's never made it past the quarterfinal of a slam. So I'm going to go with Djokovic in four sets, but let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this quarterfinal?